Hello students, welcome to our JE prep channel, hope all of you are doing well as usual. Today we will work out one problem based on relative motion. Now let us read the problem. Two towns A and B are connected by a regular bus service with a bus leaving either direction every 10 minutes. A man cycling with a speed of 20 km per hour in the direction of A to B notices that a bus goes past him every 18 minute in the direction of his motion and every 6 minute in the opposite direction of his motion. What is the period T of the bus service and with what speed do the buses ply on the road? Here speed of the buses we have to take as a constant. Okay, now let us understand the methodology of this problem. See students, there are two towns, town A and town B. And buses are plying regularly from town A to town B and town B to town A. Now these buses are plying after equal interval of time. That is say for capital T minutes which is given here. Now when buses are plying from town A to town B and town B to town A, that time a cyclist starts cycling from town A to town B with a speed of 20 km per hour. And this man, this cyclist notices that the buses which are going from town A to town B are crossing him for every 18 minutes. While the buses which are coming in the opposite direction from town B to town A are crossing him for every 6 minutes. What we want to find out, the speed of the buses and the, the time interval between the two buses. Now let's see. Now let speed of the cyclist is given to us that is 20 km per hour. Let the speed of the bus be V. And every bus you know leaving town A after every equal interval of time that is capital T. Okay, now the buses are leaving every 10 minutes in either direction. So then what is the distance between any two buses at any moment or at any time that is V into T. Now let us consider the first case. The buses which are going from town A to town B. Okay, now at any time T equal to 0, suppose first bus crosses the cyclist. The second bus will cross him after 18 minutes. But every bus is moving with speed V and cyclist is moving with speed 20 km per hour. So therefore second bus will cross the cyclist with a relative speed of V minus 20. Why V minus 20 km per hour? Because both bus and the cyclist are in the same direction. So this bus, second bus will cross that cyclist after 18 minutes. Hence the same distance the covered by the buses will be or the separation between the two buses will be V minus 20 speed into this time that is 18 minutes. So 18 upon 60 hours. Why is divided by 60? Because this 18 minutes I have converted into hours. So therefore this distance is equal to the actual separation between the two buses that is V into T. Now let us see the second case. In the second case, buses are moving from town B to town A. Means buses are coming in the opposite direction of the cyclist. All the buses which are coming from town B to town A, they are also moving with speed V. So then naturally the separation between the two buses will be V into T. Now, the buses which are coming from town B to town A are crossing cyclists for every 6 minutes. And as the buses are moving in the opposite direction of the cyclist, their relative velocity is V plus 20. So therefore, the separation between any two buses, you know, at any moment will be V plus 20 into 6 upon 60. So therefore, V plus 20 into 6 upon 60 is equal to V into T. So we have these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. We got equation 1 by considering moment of the buses in the direction of cyclist where they cross the cyclist for every 18 minutes and in case 2 the movement of the buses 
in the direction opposite to that of the cyclist where all buses are crossing him for every six minutes so if we equate these two equations then we will get v minus 20 18 upon 60 is equal to v plus 20 6 upon 60 i equated because one side of these two equations is same that is vt therefore the other sides are also same now then i simplified this and this velocity comes to be 40 km per hour means all the buses are moving with a constant speed of 40 km per hour now let us see how to find the time now to find the time use any one of the equations i have used this first equation that is v minus 20 into 18 upon 16 is equal to v into t i will substitute v as 40 km per hour therefore 40 minus 20 to 18 upon 60 is equal to 40 t and after simplifying you will get t is equal to 3 upon 20 hours and if you convert this into minute you just have to multiply by 60 so that comes to be 9 minutes so the buses will move either from town a to town b or town b to town a for every time interval of 9 minutes therefore what is the answer the buses are plying with speed 40 km per hour constantly and while the time interval between the two buses is 9 minutes. I hope all of you understood this problem. And students, if you want to really perform very well in JE examination, NEET examination and MSCT examination, I strongly recommend to subscribe our channel. Thank you.